It's Friday. Here it is again. It's time I'm, for. I'm C Mark. I'm John Mark. And this is Two Marks and One Mic. And or Two Marks, One Mic. Two Marks, One Mic. Is that yeah. right? That's it. Uh, we've been hitting topics about car accidents and getting treatment and notifying the insurance company. And today we're going to talk about uh, People's Court. I don't know if you remember People's Court when, when I was in law school. Judge Wapner was a, yes. very, it was a very popular show right. where two people would show up without lawyers. Right. And they'd have a little minor dispute, and Judge Wapner would, would, would listen to both sides and make a ruling. And when we say people's court, we mean that in the most respectful way, because oh, yeah. this is a venue and a forum where uh, people may not need an attorney. Now, there's some cases if you're down there, if it's a corporation, for example, it has to have an attorney, but there's some cases that, that are in general sessions court that right. people can handle on their own. Right. And it's called General Sessions Court, and it's located on Market Street, right. and the court clerk staff are very helpful. If you would walk in and say someone owes you money or someone sold you a, sold you a bad car and you want your money back, uh, there's a debt that you want collected, you know, people's court would be the way to go if the matter is less than $25,000. Right. Yeah, and, and, and the, the, the clerk and staff down in, in General Sessions Court are extremely helpful. Now, they can't give you legal advice, but they can certainly uh, assist you in how to get things filed. For example, if, if, if you walk in there and you and you ask the court, I want to sue somebody that owes me money and they owe me $5,000, they will actually assist you in giving you the piece of paper yes. that, that you can hand write out. That's right. You hand write your name and you must know the name and the address of the person that you're suing. It's all on a form and there's a blank that you complete uh, as to just a, a brief description of the facts right. and what you're suing for. So it kind of gives the court a basis. It's, it's really considered an oral court, even though there's a document that starts it that's actually right. written. It's not a court of record. Not it's a court not of record. That's what record. I mean by an oral court or oral it's pleadings. Not a court of record. Uh, even though there's a, a general yeah. a summons that you have to have. And so you. Civil warrant, excuse me. Civil warrant. And so you fill out the, the, the civil warrant. The sheriff will serve the civil warrant on the address and name that, that you gave. And then it will pop up on docket call on a Monday. That's right. Right? And, and you show up to docket call 11 o'clock on a Monday. And if the other side does not show up, guess what? You, you can win. take yeah, you can take your default. You take a judgment. Now the, 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 the civil warrant will have a date for that initial appearance. The, right. It'll be assigned by uh, the, the, the people there in the court. Right. They'll tell you which date uh, that it will be. So they're very, very helpful in doing that. Now yeah. there, there's some cases, uh, if you have over there in Sessions Court, you're still probably going to need an attorney. Right. Those disputes like that between individuals certainly sure. do that. Sure. Uh, car wrecks can be a little more problematic. Yeah. Uh, yeah because you have to have a certain way you have to prove your medical bills yeah. and expenses. Sure, uh, you know, but even a car wreck case, if, if, there, if there's no medical bills incurred and you're just talking about property damage yes. and the other guy doesn't have insurance yes. and you kind of want to get your property damage, you can show up and get it. And, and if the other side does not show up on a Monday at 11 o'clock, it's a default judgment. You win, and you get the, a judgment for the amount that, that you want, and, right. and the judge will approve it there. And, and under Tennessee law, you as owner of that vehicle, you are competent to testify as to the value of that vehicle. Right, so right. So you can, now you can't testify about the value of your cousin's vehicle or a friend's vehicle, and they can't testify about the value of yours, but you are competent to testify about, my car was worth $10,000 right. before this crash, right. And now in its damaged state, it's worth $2,500. Right. Your damages are then $7,500. Right. So that's what you have to do. You have yeah. to show the before and after value, not the cost right. of the repairs. Yeah. And, and this is something that now if the other side does show up at 11 o'clock on a Monday, that's when you get a court date. That's right. You get a court date and then you show up at an, uh, on a court date. The court will assign you a court date, a nine o'clock court date. You know, later on in the future, you know, as far as Tuesday through through Friday is when they have courts uh, in general system court, and you, and you can show up then. And then here we go with the Judge Wapner, where you're the plaintiff, they're the defendant. You state your case, they state their case, and the judge will render an opinion from the bench. Now, let me tell you, we are more than happy if if, if anybody has questions about general sessions court. 
like I said, the, the clerk and the support staff over there are very, very right. good. But if you have any questions about any of these kind of claims, we'll be happy to talk Absolutely. to you and, and tell you how, which, what needs to be done as yeah. far as walking you through the filing process and whether you could do it with or without it. Sure, attorney. sure. If you need an attorney for something that we don't handle, we can help refer you to an attorney that will handle it for you. If it's something that we handle and we believe you need an attorney, we are happy to represent you. So, uh, number one, you can get a default judgment in people's court if they don't show up. If they do show up, you'll get a court date with the judge. You show up and you go to court on that court date. I, I suggest if you go up there on a Monday at 11 o'clock and the party that you sued shows up with a lawyer, you better lawyer up also. Absolutely. And so that happens as well. This has been two marks and... One mic. Or two marks, time. one mic. See you next week.